you all know, we're here for the dedication of the Milford Special Olympic Trophy case, and I appreciate you all for coming. Um, we're going to start off at, with Ben Rizzoli, one of my Special Olympic athletes, that has a few words to say. Ben. <clears throat> Welcome, everyone. My name is Ben Rizzoli. I am a Milford Special Olympics athlete and spokesperson. On behalf of Milford Special Olympics, I would like to welcome you all t today for this exciting event. We are very happy to officially present and dedicate our Milford Special Olympics trophy case. We are so thankful to Domingos, Rhoda, and the Prospect Heights mayors for all their hard work on this beautiful case. We are all so happy to have our case to showcase our accomplishments. As an athlete, I want to say thank you, Mingos, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Um, so as you know, this year has been a really uh, wonderful year for our Special Olympic athletes. We had um, 13 athletes go to national games in Seattle. We had um, an athlete that played on the NBA unified basketball team and was the um, heroes among us at the Celtics, Ashley Aldridge. We also had Ben Rizzoli himself, who was the hero of the match at the New England Revolution game. Yeah, ben. Right? Yeah, ben. We had our unified track team won gold at sectionals this year, and our unified basketball team got the MIAA Sportsmanship Award. So we've had a lot of accomplishments here at Milford High, and to have a, show, a showcase for them um, is very exciting to our athletes. So um, we would like to unveil it, and then Joe Lopes would like to say a few words. class, graduating class, provided the same showcase in the front lobby of this school back, that was the class of 1951. I sound like a dinosaur, but I have fond, fond memories of everything here at this school. So today, let me give you a quick, brief discussion of what we're all about. Prospect Heights was a community founded by Draper Corporation after about 1850 and they built that, those brick houses up where you go to the picnic up at Prospect Heights. After the Second World War, 184 members of that neighborhood served on active duty for the Second World War. When they got home, they decided they wanted to have a reunion because they hadn't seen each other for five and six years, a lot of them, and they decided that, oh, with the sandwiches and beer to have a small reunion. They did. It was so successful that they said, look, we can't do this alone. We need to do this on an annual basis so that enough people will come. But in order to do that, we need to rotate the directorship of this organization. Prospect Heights had six ethnic groups that formed the neighborhood, Irish, Italian, Portuguese, Polish, Armenian, and Greek. Each year, they, they elected a person to be in charge, and they called them the mayor of Prospect Heights. Today, I'd like to thank as you, as Ben just said, I'd like to thank Mingo for his project because each year they select a community outreach project. He decided that this would be a great project and with the Superintendent McIntyre, they decided to do it. Another showcase, Special Olympics is near and dear to everybody's heart in the town of Milford. We appreciate your efforts, we support your efforts, we will continue to do that in the future and we thank you for your representation here today. Congratulations all of you. I, uh, I couldn't think of a better thing to do than to build this case for you folks, and I hope you guys fill it. It's already full. I think it's too small. So maybe maybe Jamie can add a couple of uh, additions to this thing, but um, I'm just so happy that it came out this great, and I can't wait for you guys to fill it up. So hurry up. Let's fill it up. All right.
This is Milford TV News and Sports Director Tim Coet. Make sure you check out new editions of the Milford Informer every Friday at 7.30 p.m. or during one of our eight convenient re-air times throughout the weekend. You can also find individual news stories as well as full archived editions on our YouTube page My Milford TV. If you live in the greater Milford area and have an idea for a news story, you can tweet at us using the handle at Milford underscore TV, or you can contact me directly by sending an email to news at milfordtv.net.